I think this White House has been the most combative uh, since Nixon. I don't think that this president is following the existing precedents. The last president I know who actually pursued the claim uh, that he would not respond, or his, his senior officials would not respond to House subpoenas, uh, was Nixon. This particular stance about refusing to honor subpoenas is very aggressive. Typically, these things happen every day up and down Pennsylvania Avenue. They're negotiated. Why? People don't want the American public to think that they are stonewalling, that they're not doing the business of the people. The weight is in favor of Congress's investigatory authority. Now, his argument will be, well, they don't need it anymore because we have the Mueller report. But his judgment is not the final judgment. We know that from United States versus Nixon. The Nixon case says the president cannot decide on his own. The court is the final arbiter of whether Congress needs this information or it's within its congressional constitutional authority. So I don't see any legitimate ground for uh, the executive to be pushing back against Mueller testimony. Again, it would be on to do that. They'd also be, perhaps support it with this unitary executive theory that all members of the executive branch are under the president's authority and therefore he can order him not to testify. Mueller's response to that, I would expect, would be simply to resign. My biggest fear is that uh, if it were to go to court, and the court were to affirm Congress's authority that the president would simply refuse. That would be a true constitutional crisis uh, because, in fact, you had what would have one branch saying to the other branch, the courts, I'm not going to pay attention to you, in which case there is no way to resolve that. The only way to resolve it would be, in fact, impeachment under the Constitution.